Hey everyone, welcome to Wild Breakaway with Wes Walls. I'm Audra Martin. A very tough night right out of the gate tonight for the Minnesota Wild taking on the Calgary Flames as this road trip continues through Canada. Tonight, sloppy start, uncharacteristically uh, rough night for the Minnesota Wild and, and the Calgary Flames who are fighting to stay alive in the playoff picture made them pay for it. Yeah, you could tell early uh, the Wild were not on top of their game and really nothing came easy for this Minnesota Wild Club here tonight, uh, playing in the back, back end of back-to-backs, uh, winning in Edmonton last night. But uh, really right from the beginning of the game, just not sharp with their passing, executing. They were able to, to uh, climb out of that 2 nothing hole and score a goal um, in, in the second period. And uh, their goalie, Brian Elliott, made a couple key saves at the end of the second period to keep that score at 2-1. Um, they were able to come out to the Calgary Flames and score a power play goal and put the game out of reach. And uh, um, not the type of effort we've seen from this Minnesota Wild uh, team of late, but uh, they'll jump back uh, on the saddle and uh, go get them on Saturday night in Vancouver. So 5-1 is your final score tonight in Calgary. It's the first time this season Devin Dubnik has given up five goals. Every one of the Flames players with a shot on net tonight for 36 total from them. 29 for the Minnesota Wild. Ofer on the power play for the Wild. Two for four for the Flames. Again, a tough loss for the Minnesota Wild. Here's what their coach had to say. That's what happens when you give up five goals. I mean, it's something we don't, haven't done in a long time. And, uh, you know, I mean, you don't play well in front of your goalie. You give them opportunities and looks, and uh, they're going to score. I think it's the first time we've had two power play goals scored against us, too, in maybe 30 games as well. So here's a look at the next three for the Wild. The road trip continues Saturday night against the Vancouver Canucks and wraps up against the Jets on Tuesday. And then they come back home to take on the Chicago Blackhawks Wednesday night. But of course, the Vancouver Canucks, just like the Flames tonight, are a team that are still in the playoff picture. So the Wild need to come out with a much better start than we saw tonight. For sure. And uh, anytime you think of the Vancouver Canucks, you're thinking of the Sedin brothers. Uh, those two guys have been doing it for many, many years. Uh, they're, they're both having good years again this year. Um, so the Minnesota Wild are going to have to really focus on shutting down those two guys. And uh, um, like we said earlier, uh, the, the Calgary Flames, the Winnipeg Jets, the Vancouver Canucks, these are the teams that are fighting for their playoff lives right now. These are all, all the Game 7s. for they got to have these uh, wins. That's why the Calgary Flames played so well. Um, so the, the, the uh, Minnesota Wild are going to get the Vancouver Canucks A game on Saturday night. So the Wild are going to need to be ready. The good news is the Wild tend to respond very well after yes. giving up a game like we saw tonight. Hopefully that trend will continue Saturday night. We look forward to seeing you then, 8.30, right here on Wild Live on Fox Sports North. In the meantime, for Wes Walls, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us on Wild Breakaway.